my relationship with God was always off and on. And I just did life alone. It was just, I had a lot of walls up. It was just me, myself, God, my husband and my kids, and that was it. I just felt like if, if God, like if God is the head and the church is the body and this is life, right? Like this water line here. I was just trying to keep my head like this, like, okay, I'm sober, I've got Jesus, I go to church online, but I wanted nothing to do with people, and I was exhausted, because I'm trying to keep my head above water, but it was like having my hands tied behind my back, just trying to do it alone. I knew something was missing. I knew um, I wasn't living in the more that God had in store for me. When your hands are tied behind your back, <laughs> and you're trying to do life alone. It's easy. You get exhausted. It's easy to just kind of give up and fall back into old patterns and behaviors. But now I have so many people that love me and have come alongside me and they're, it's just all different now. It's like, I've, I'm all in. There's no turning back, even if I wanted to. I have too many amazing people because of small groups and serving. I mean, Pastor Sean always says you'll never meet more connected people than those serving and in small groups, and that's so true. Now I know, I know whose I am. I know what God's done for me. I know that my past is covered and washed by the blood. I'm not who I was. And it has nothing to do with me, it has everything to do with God and just showing up and being who he is. Your feelings are going to lie to you. And people have said this to me before, choices lead, feelings follow. And that's so true. But blessings follow with that when you're making the right choices. And I would just encourage you to step out in faith, know and believe that God has so much more in store. And the enemy wants to keep you stuck and stationary and God has so much more for you, but it takes that action step in just trusting him. Um, I used to struggle with addiction, but because of Jesus, it's paid in full. I used to struggle with crippling anxiety, but because of Jesus, it's paid in full. <laughs> I was lost and I had no hope, but because of Jesus, <laughs> it's paid in full. <laughs>